Chris and Telly with Hooks and Hammocks, Day One Catfish Conference, Kansas City, Missouri. B roll. B roll. Hello. No rest. No, oh, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. Right here we have famous YouTuber Ryan Bortz. The legend. <laughs> hey, and there's guys? another famous YouTuber. You go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about your channel. Hey, I'm Jim with uh, Blue Line Adventure. We're here at CatCon um, getting some bargains and uh, trying to join the weekend and trying to support our fellow uh, suppliers and stuff. And it's a great weekend. Awesome. Uh, we do a lot of uh, cat fishing. Uh, bank fishing or, or kayak so uh, come uh, check us out do a little bit of a product review check us out see you know see what you like all right there you heard it straight from the man himself uh we'll put the link in the description and uh, you guys go check him out all right so this is bob with fins and finds you want to tell us about your channel hey uh, bob with fins and finds like you just said uh channels basically the fins i got the fishing side and the finds i do melee technon also so we're either to, you know water fishing or dirt fishing some way, find some adventures, and this is my two main hobbies. So you know, just have people come on and follow me what I'm doing. Yeah, Bob's got a great channel. He did a fantastic tournament earlier this year with yeah. the Fish a Wish. Did the Fish uh, Wish tournament back in September. Raised over four thousand dollars to the Make Wish Foundation. Had some red anglers in it, and uh, that was a blast. Yeah, Look forward was, to doing it again next year. That was fantastic, and we hope to be part of it next year. Yeah, that's that's gonna be fun again. All right. Even bigger this next time. Yep. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with us today, Bob. Awesome. Having fun at the Captain's Conference. Come, <laughs> come next year if you ain't, you know, or heck, February. Yeah. Yep, February. Or come tomorrow. Depends <laughs> when you release this. We got another day. Oh, uh, yeah. it'll, be, it'll be a while. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, awesome. Bob. Bye bye. <laughs> World famous Taylorsville Lake cat fisherman, Ryan Bortz. The legend. Uh, just tell us about your channel. I just go out and catch big catfish and try to tell everybody how I do it. Do it from a kayak, from a boat, from the bank. We pull planter boards. We just got a bumping set up. Uh-oh. We're getting ready to start bumping from the kayaks and watch for those videos. It's uh, Ryan Bortz, Blue Collar Life. Uh, I've not seen anybody bumping from a kayak yet, so I'm kind of excited to get some videos out there doing it. I gotta be successful at it first, but it's gonna be a trendsetter. Be a trendsetter. That's right. I'm a leader, not a follower. <laughs> photo bomb. Who's photo bomb? <laughs> oh Lord! Busted. What's going on over okay, here? Seriously, so, Trish told me to buy her a rod. Trish, my sister, said, "Hey, I have a nice white reel with some silver, black, uh, and gold to it. Find me a rod to match up to it." So this is actually for Trish. <laughs> and I and I was looking at these rods and I had a budget and Marilla was standing there and he said, but you can't buy just one. Yeah. So my budget just yeah. got shot. Once uh, again, I've been a good influence. A good influence, guys. that's right. Yes. So why don't yeah. we tell the people just in case they don't know who you are. Who, who we are who, or who the rods are? Who you they are. They want to know who the rods are. And then you can tell them about the rods. Okay. Have a good one. Uh, Jason Ward. Uh, I don't have a YouTube channel, but I support the catfish community. Very good these support. These are uh, Warrior Rods. Warrior Rods. Yep. Nobody knows me. My name's my. I'm just kidding. Everybody. <laughs> um, not everybody. But anyway. um, just to make Chris's video a little bit more goofy, you know. Yes, I am Michael Marillo. Marillo Family Fishing. I'm not the star of my channel. That's my daughter, Lauren. Uh, look for coming videos. She wants to, to uh, interview people. 
I want to interview Lauren. That sounds nice. She wants to interview other people. So there will be requests sent out pretty soon. We're going nice. to try to collaborate here. And yes, Warrior Cat Rods. Look at this beautiful white with the black and the silver. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep, my sister's going to go go catch some, some catfish on this now. And I was going to forget, total honesty. I remembered she wanted to cast that at something else. <laughs> right. Talking, and, we're, we're in trouble. It, we're in trouble it together. Jarred my memory, so yeah. well, did not forget. Maybe I make sure Telly's not hanging out with you two. <laughs> yes. So hey, she doesn't spend any come, more money. Come to the catfish conference, y'all. Great time. Great time. All right. Thank you both very much. Day two, catfish conference, Kansas City, Missouri. Let's see who we meet today. Fisherman Swap Shop, which is new at the Catfish Conference. You can see people have brought in some items to try to buy or, uh, buy, or sorry, sell or barter. Uh, people can walk up here and try to purchase the rods or reels or whatever else fishing related items that they have, uh, people might have. It's a $5 fee for you to sell up to five items. Any more than that, you have to have a booth. Monster Rod Holders, of course you all know what they are, and Mr. Steve Douglas. Uh, along with Hervé are the ones that put this on. Speaking of Mr. Steve Douglas, that's him right there in the plaid shirt and red hat. Never lost anchors. You guys know Ryan Borg? All kinds of great vendors here. Lots of good, uh, lot of Mondo Cat. Lots of good vendors here at the Catfish Conference. Kansas City. Looking forward to the one in Louisville. This is a first year for the one here in Kansas City. And uh, not quite as big as the one in Louisville will be. It's Louisville's more established. But Kansas City will definitely probably be growing just as much. We're going to go over here and buy some dark water premium baits. You guys have seen these baits on uh, Steve Douglas's channel. And we're going to buy some and take them home. All right. So we're here to buy some bait. Awesome. What? Uh, so how many packages would you like to take? I'm, I'm going to take four packs. Okay. Four packs. We got four different types. We got red dye. We got red dye garlic infused. We got normal Asian carpet. We got garlic infused. Next Asian year. Carpet. So we can send you one of each. We got nugs that are a pound. All the slabs are about a pound, pound and a half. We've got slabs and nugs in all types. Why don't we do... Yeah, basically one of each. Let's do one of the chunks, one of the slabs. Of, of the same? Or Do you have different flavors in the uh, chunks and the slabs? No. They're, they're, well, they're all slabs and chunks. So okay, all, okay. All four I see, types I see. have slabs and chunks. These don't have so any garlic in them. These do. But these do. But there's, so you know what I'm saying. There's slabs and there's nugs of Asian carp red dye. Well, I'd say let's do the slabs and everything. That way, I can cut it up myself. Oh, yeah. See? That way we can do... Uh, so we get one that's not garlic and one that is, right? In each one. Yep, absolutely. All year round. So you guys can see this. And I know you saw it on Steve Douglas' channel. Uh, they actually... They actually opened a pack of these for us yesterday, and uh, we were able to smell them, and you would think that it would be rotten or nasty. It smells like fresh fish. It smells like you just cut it up. So we're excited to give them a try. Uh, we'll be looking for a video in the future, and uh, we'll see how it works. Preservatives, all natural, all food grade, as well as... No freezer required, no freezer required. After opening, this will stay good for a couple of weeks. Thank you months let's say in july and august the hot months if you go out and you want to fish and you can't find bait you want to have this on your boat come back in two weeks it'll still be the same preserve it ready still tender put that on your hook and it will not fall off no rotten smell no rotten meat and, and it'll it'll catch some fish it'll catch some good kitties all right well thank you very much all right good luck to you guys thank you yeah got catfish clothing over here I'm just kind of giving you guys a highlight. I'm not going to go into any details. If you want to see details on this Catfish Conference, you need to go to the Catfish Conference YouTube channel. And Kevin Palmetto Cats has done, he's live streamed and interviewed all these vendors. And uh, I mean, you guys know the drill. Go to Catfish Conference YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. 
Uh, Telly and I also make videos on that channel. Look at these jackets. These jackets are awesome. There's Cat River Anchors. Oh, look at this guy right here. We might have a we might have a little YouTube vortex everywhere. going on. There's YouTubers everywhere. Look at this. <laughs> Hooks and Hammocks is here. What's going on, everybody? I've met some great people. Talk to you later. Yeah, okay, so here we are. We found Epic Catfish, a.k.a. Tim Scott. I think everybody knows you better as Epic. I think so. Yeah, so uh, Epic Catfish on YouTube. Go check him out if you have it. I don't know why you have it, because, man, it catches monsters. And this kind of stuff is what dreams are made of, because if you ever thought about it, even if you didn't even know it would be a thing, rods, bumping rods, hooks, and weights, and anchors, I bought stuff here. I need to get with the 21st century, I'm to, or the 22nd century, however you want to say it. But, you know, I, I did some seminars, broke some stuff, and uh, met some great people. So, I'm in heaven. Yeah, thanks, Tim. All right, so here's the Slime Cat vendor booth. And look at all these rods. I mean, it's a very pretty setup, if nothing else. I mean, Slime Cat makes some good stuff. Tackle Bandit is definitely a one-stop shop. You can probably get everything you'd need right here at Tackle Bandit. And all kinds of different floats. Got the bubble blades over there, some nets. They've even got multi-bars, bank rod holders, all kinds of, uh-oh. I may have to look at some of these sinkers. <laughs> all kinds of stuff here. This is where all the guest speakers come, give us some instructions and tips and tricks and everything. And actually right now, Spencer Bauer is speaking from River Certified. The head unit of the motor raised my point of gravity up. The metal cats. And then the fact that I'm going like six I heard there was a Chris Flores sighting. There is. He's hiding back there in the trailer. He's hiding from he's everybody? Hiding. I working think he's, in that trailer back I there. I think he's sleeping. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to go find him. Go find him. I think we found Chris Flores. I, I heard he was here, but I, I hadn't seen him, but I think I found him. He was taking a nap or hiding out or something. I don't know. Let's go see if we can find him. There he is. Hooks it's Chris Flores. How are you doing, Hooks and Hammocks? I'm good, Chris. How are you? doing wonderful well i'm here at the show trying to sell some of my rods great show so uh everybody was asking if you were going to be here and everything but no but we thought you weren't going to be able to make it we're glad you're here uh looking forward to seeing where you set up uh trying to figure out why you're hiding well i'm so popular i just had to hide a little bit from all my fans well i can understand that uh and you're probably hiding from steve douglas too but i, I won't let him see this so um Anyway, it's good to see you. Sorry to bother you. We'll see you next time. All right, I'm going to go back and take a nap. Good seeing you. All right, we're still here at the Kansas City, Missouri uh, Cat Con, and we're over here with Michael Murillo at the Fisherman's Swap Shop. You guys know that this is all new this year for Kansas City. We're going to move that into Louisville, Kentucky, and I think it's going really well, especially with the group of people we have here right now. So Jason Ward, is that correct, Michael? Jason Ward was kind enough to bring a whole bunch of rods. Is there some reels involved too? Yep, some rods and some reels. And right here you can see all these happy kids that are leaving with their own rod and reels, compliments of Jason Ward and the kindness that he has and uh, the love he has for this catfish community and especially the kids of this catfish community. So some very happy kids right here. Do you guys want to say anything? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank for you. all the rods and reels. They're really nice. <laughs> Some happy faces here, man. Nothing better than seeing the kids getting involved in the fishing, in the outdoors. Just warms your heart. Do you guys enjoy those rods and reels? And I hope you catch monsters on them. I will. I will enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you. CatCon Kansas City has came to an end. Did you have a good time? It was amazing. We met a lot of wonderful people, had some good food, bought too much stuff, well. met more wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to Louisville. See you guys there.